Namaste and welcome to Magic Vibrations Healing. Today I would like to introduce you about Siddha Linga. What is Siddha Linga? Siddha Linga is born from the meeting of two persons. Danny Sher, a Siddha healer born in South Africa and teaching in India and all over the world, and myself, Damien Hay. Siddha Linga is the meeting of two lineages, two life experiences, two schools of magic and healing. One of the schools, of course, is a Siddha lineage. Siddhas comes from South India. In Sanskrit, it means the perfect. Siddhas were and still are masters, masters on of the body, masters of spirit, masters of the higher bodies, masters of yoga, masters who transcended the illusion that we call a reality, masters that embody, embrace the whole potential that human beings are. Siddhas are the true masters of India, ancient alchemist, master of the inner and the outer alchemy. The Siddhas today still exist, like Avdut Baba Shivanand, Ananda Mahasiddha, Shri Tatata, Babaji in his light body. Siddhas were born about 8,000 years ago from what history record. And the first main Siddha was called Agastya. He was a master alchemist. He was the head of all the Siddha lineages that came then. The Siddha masters were initiating students that themselves, after long practices, were becoming teachers and masters. And we have like this an uninterrupted lineage of masters and students of gurus and shelas coming from many, many thousand years. Siddhas work mostly with the breath, with pran. They are the master of the prana. They can refine their prana in a way that they can dissolve themselves with the infinite source, with the whole universe, and they can travel through the different dimensions. Siddhas worked with alchemy. Some of them are as well master of the outer alchemy, the metal alchemy, the soul alchemy in the matter. This is how Siddhalinga is born. It's born because my brother Danny Sher, as a Siddha healer, received many initiations from his master, Avdut Baba Shivanand. And about more than 15 years ago, he was given something really special, something really unique which is a Nav Pashnam Murti. This Nav Pashnam Murti was a key ingredient of one of the most powerful medicine, ancient alchemy that could be available today. Nav Pashnam, literally in Sanskrit, the nine poisons, because this is a medicine that cures the nine poisons. It's based on the purification of nine different metals using a lot, a lot of different ingredients, herbs, cow products. And it's a long, long process to purify each of these nine metals. The nine metals are connected with the nine planets. In ancient Vedic astrology, you have the seven planets of the universe where Pluto is excluded. And as well, you have two more energies that are considered like planets, which are the energies and the forces that cause obstruction, eclipses, yeah, Rahu and Ketu. So in ancient Vedic alchemy, these nine metals purified, blended together, would create something that would balance and harmonize the whole holographic computer that the planets are. And this holographic computer of the solar system, it influences our own holographic reality. Some planets are linked in 
the, the astrology to different parts of our personality, of our karma, of our tendencies, vasanas, of our patterns, of our addictions, of our potential, negative and positive potential. The way and the day we were born, the stars, the way the holographic computer was set, influences us. Navpashnam was a medicine that was created to harmonize and balance all these aspects, to tune you with the highest potential inside this holographic universe, this holographic computer, and your own holographic reality. This murti is a little statue. It's made from these nine purified metals blended with some clay, and the shape is a Ganapati, is Ganesh, so the remover of obstacles, the lord of categories, the energy that opens the doors to the whole Vedic knowledge. This is why you always start with Ganapati, with Ganesh, in any mantra or in any ceremony. Now, my friend, Dani Sher was given this murti and he learned with other crystals and yantra, which are mandalas and sacred geometry. He learned how to activate and give the full potential through the Siddha lineage of the ancestors, of all the masters above. Nityananda, which was a great Sadguru, the master of the master. And Babaji, and Agastya and Boganatar, which is the first Siddha who created the Navpashnam. All this lineage, all this invisible presence, they come and through a ritual, a long meditation, for a few days, this Murti can activate sometimes water, sometimes it can activate oil, it can activate salt, it can activate crystal, it can activate everything that is consciousness. Siddhalinga was born from this. It was born from me meeting this person, understanding the potential of this magic and asking him to blend it with my own magic and my own school and my own lineage. The other side of Siddhalinga is more a shamanic, invisible, etheric, energetic reign of knowledge. From my side, I do work with the Mayan lineage of the Curanderos and Curanderas from Mexico. I learned from the great master Estrella Fuentes, or Star Fuentes, that lives in the United States now. I learned to work through dimensions. I learned light language, all the shapes and colors that are one of the language of the universe, the language of light, and everything is light. So when we met, we could blend together our knowledge, our experience, our practice, our knowledge, and create something new something that would blend the ancient shaman from Central America and the ancient shaman from India that we call Siddhas. Shaman being the person who works with spirit, who explores the different realms of consciousness. So India meeting Central America, the two, some of the two most powerful lineages on earth, both miracle makers, we would blend it and create something with it. It took many years and it changed the way, the, the, the design of it changed, of course, but the essence was always blending together our two different approach and our two different worlds. There Siddhalinga was born. Siddhalinga is a blend of ancient Mayan alchemy and shamanic alchemy with ancient Vedic Siddha alchemy. So Siddhalinga ended up being a kind of powder, salt-based, and crystal base and plant base. And this powder, with its crystalline structure, would resonate with our own crystalline structure. All the crystals, the minerals, the salts we have in our body, in our blood, in all the liquids in our body. And because it will be both hexagonal in structure, you have a direct resonance. That's why Siddhalinga is always crystalline in its physical aspect because it can resonate, inform, upload information in our own crystalline body, which is one of our higher body, the Merkaba body, hexagonal based. So you have a direct resonance, and then through all our work of meditation, downloads that we put inside, energies, presence, blessings, mantras, sacred geometry, colors, 
shapes, crystals, plant medicine, animal medicine, dimensions, all these invisible intentions, all these presence, all these powers, all these activations, they go inside. And every time that I learn something new or that my brother learns something new, it goes inside a download that is called Siddhalinga. So it's upgraded all the time. Even if you already have a Siddhalinga product with you, like a pendant, and you have it with you, even then, you will receive the upgrade all the time. It's a, like an actualization. It's like upgrading your software. Because Siddhalinga is one morphing field that we feed every day with our different practices, prayers, rituals, ceremonies, and intention, and everything new that our subconscious and conscious mind is learning about. So Siddhalinga is becoming every day more and more powerful. The effects of Siddhalinga is that first it will connect you with this invisible presence, all these ancestors from the Mayan lineage, from the Siddha lineage. It will therefore connect you with your higher spiritual presence, with your higher spiritual bodies, with your own guidance and your own spirit guides. It will create a bridge between you and masters that you can reach and learn and experience your own mastery. So it's a tool. It's something to help you to connect better. It will help you to be more grounded. It will connect you to the earth like you have probably never been connected to the earth before like that. It will ground you so deep to the core of the planet. And when I speak about the core of the planet, we have to understand that you have many layers to this core. I'm speaking about the original core of Pachamama, of Gaia, of Mother Earth the original dream of Creator. It connects as well yourself, of course, with Spirit, with Source, with God, with the Divine Mother, with the Solar Logos, with Unabku, with Paramatma, with Sadashiva, the eternal presence of consciousness. It connects you in this verticality. The Earth, your heart, and Spirit. Of course, it activates your heart because once you're well connected with earth and with spirit, your heart is just opening. It contains inside as well a lot of activations to open the different layers of the heart, the different chambers of the heart, and the different dimensions of the heart. It brings joy, it brings love, it brings infinite light and love. As well, we have an horizontal aspect in Siddhalinga, which is that it increases your energy field. It closes the gaps and cracks in your etheric structure and in your astral body. Yeah, all these days, the use of waves through cell phones, through radioactivity in the sea, through like the different device and waves that you use, from the Bluetooth to the Wi-Fi to the WiMAX and the chemtrails, all of this affects a lot and damage our astral body. Siddhalinga will repair your astral body, it will seal it every moment. So you're less permeable, you're less porous, and then you receive and you're affected less by all these kind of waves and energies. So it will close all the gaps and cracks, it will seal your energetic field in many different layers, and it will expand it, it will densify it in a way that you are more protected, safe, whole, complete, and that you have healthy boundaries that will naturally come around you. Yeah. So your energy field will have, in light language, the shape of a cube, which will guard and maintain healthy boundaries around you all the time. Siddhalinga is as well a way that you can ask and put intention in your life. It's like a processor of a divine spiritual computer from the invisible world that you can program with your intention. So if I ask Siddhalinga consciousness, so of course I can focus on the pendant and think that the pendant does it. It's not the pendant, it's the energy field, the morphing field that it relates to, that you are bridging with. You can ask, oh, I need now more grounding, I'm feeling dizzy and tired. I need more vitality and energy. I need more focus because now I'm studying. I need more relaxation because I start to be moved and 
activated by something. I need more patience when I'm waiting in the line. I need more compassion when I see that I'm being unfriendly to someone or getting upset. You can ask anything and the Siddha consciousness using all the downloads, all the potential, all the knowledge of the Mexican shaman and the Indian Siddhas, plus all my personal experience and the experience of life of my brother, all of this goes into the morphing field. I do believe as well that other people, positive experiences that are using Siddha Linga become suddenly available in a quantum way to everybody is using it. Of course, your free will, your own higher self spirit will decide what to use and what not to use. So this is extremely safe. It's simply many portals that you can open if you need and through Siddhalinga, your higher self will decide what to use or not to use, what portal to open for the highest good in this moment for yourself. So it works by default. You can program it. If you don't program it, it will just keep something harmonious all the time with you. It will give you a lot of center, confidence. It will protect you against harmful energies and radiations. But as well, it will always take you through a process that you can evolve through your own light and your own spiritual journey. Siddhalinga is infinite. It's beyond words. Because the Siddhas from India and the Mexican Curanderos and Curanderas, the healers, they had infinite knowledge or knowledge about the infinite. And we cannot put words on it. Simply experience it. Try. Siddhalinga comes in this moment through a pendant that you can keep around your neck. Or if you don't want, you can keep it in the pocket, in the bag. It has about an 8 meters radius action around you. Which means that somehow... The energy that you can influence is about 8 meters radius, like a circle, a sphere actually. And so you can program it. If I know that, for example, I'm traveling, sleeping in a guest house with Wi-Fi, I will ask that all the radiations of this Wi-Fi are stopped around me and around the bed and whoever is in my room. I can ask, for example, when I'm uh, traveling in airplane to be still connected with Earth and to avoid jet lag. I can ask to remember really well something that I'm reading, although I know I will read it only once. I can ask to integrate faster or slower, if it's too intense, any kind of process. It comes as well as a Buddha head, which is about 40 times the quantity of crystals of Siddhalinga inside a beautiful wooden Buddha head. This Buddha head has a 22 meters radius action, and we usually see it more as a meditation tool or as something you would put in your house or in the altar or in a specific place of your house to program the frame, the grid of intention of your house and the space where you live or your working area or your healing space and all. Siddhalinga is evolving every day. You're always receiving the download. Uh, we are now going through even many other progress and layers and steps in the evolution of Siddhalinga. Like the past year has been something where I went really deeper with the Mayan healers in my studies and I accessed infinite possibilities for a work through the dimensions. So whatever you will experience now with Siddhalinga, it's, it will be every day more because I'm still integrating all the downloads that I learned from this lineage. And I know my brother, Danny Sher, went as well through upgrades and updates in his life and in his way to work. Please, we invite you to give your feedbacks if you already know about Siddhalinga. We invite you to experience it, to try it. It's extremely powerful. It's affordable. It lasts forever. And somehow, it will make life so much easier for you. It's not like a clutch. It's like a booster to make it easier. It's like strength, power, that will help you to reach your own mastery as we are all, each of us, our own true master. Thank you.